students. Today's lesson in our Artist Proof Reveal series focuses on one of the most significant individuals in Magic the Gathering's history, Jesper Mirfurs. As you can see from the list behind me, Jesper is an incredibly influential person when it comes to magic, and I am excited to announce that an interview with him is in the works. But for today, we are just going to focus on some epic artist proofs from this epic artist. Ooh, let's see what we got. Mr. Zarek, do not speak unless called upon. I'm gonna hover over you like a dark cloud. Mr. Zarek, I'm warning you. You ready to throw down the gauntlet? I am. Shut your mouth, Mr. Zarek, or I'll shut it for you. This isn't over, actually. Yes, it is. Damn right it is. Now, let's get to the artist proofs. Someone please get the lights. First off, we have two basalt monoliths. Why? You'll see. It can tap for three colorless to your mana pool. Does not untap during normal untap phase. Suspend three to untap. Tapping artifact can be played as interrupt, AKA instant. And of course, we have Jesper's monolith looking very 2001 A Space Odyssey. But when we flip the two, we get a diptych of the monolith that, if you ask me, is even better than the original. Look at that color in detail. I could swing my club around that any day. Get it? Because of 2001? I'm sorry. Next up, just in time for Midnight Hunt, we have Bad Moon, a one and a black enchantment that gives all black creatures plus one plus one. And the moon here looks very bad indeed, but not nearly as bad as the updated version, which looks straight out of Innistrad. And speaking of Innistrad-esque, we have the Will of the Wisps, a one black zero three creature with flying that can regenerate for an additional black. And much like the other pieces, Jesper outdoes the original with the Will of the Wisps floating in a forest lit by their luminescence. And note those six adorable mushrooms. And even better, combine Bad Moon and Will of the Wisps together and you get a diptych that shows off a landscape that is both breathtakingly beautiful and terrifying. Next up, we have the card every magic player loves to hate, Armageddon, where for three and a white, all lands in play are destroyed. Play this one and be sure to have plenty of water because there's gonna be salt. And on the back, we have an eerily modernized version of the original artwork, which features a city that is on the brink of becoming the completely decimated ruins Jesper painted all those years ago. And next we have our dose of Proto Golgari with Elves of Deep Shadows, where one green gets you a 1-1 elf that has tap to add one black mana to your mana pool. Elves of the Deep Shadow does one damage to you. And on the back, we see elves in full glory who, thanks to a stylish corset, is bursting out of the deep shadows without a problem. Also, my hat's off to anyone who can pull off dark blue lipstick. It's tougher than it looks. And this is also a diptych with one of our dual dual lands, which is none other than Bayou, which taps for a green and a black. Finally, we have Scrubland, which taps for one black or one white. And the updated version yet again showcases how much Jesper has grown as an artist. Full disclosure, these cards are ones I never thought I would see in person, let alone showcase with actual Jesper Meifer's art on the back. And all I can say is even while sleeved and top loaded, handling these cards was both a joyful and terrifying experience. Well, that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Any questions? Yes, Mr. Zarek. What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, and totally electrifying. So that's how it is. <laughs> Either that was really funny or there's a gas leak in this classroom. Oh well, I guess it's a mystery. So until next time, I just got a boop. <laughs>